when you look at the triangle, okay, and you draw a line, okay, that's parallel to the base, okay, it doesn't have to be in the middle, it doesn't have to be like a mid-segment, it just has to be parallel to the base. What happens is it ends up splitting these two sides into two pieces, okay, sometimes called the side splitting theorem because of that, right? So it's just, you know, cutting this basically into two parts. And then the ratio that we can use, this proportion that we can use is that the ratio of A to B is the same as the ratio of C to D. So I've simplified it. Sometimes in textbooks they, you know, they make it a little bit more complicated. So I'm just calling this A and B, C and D, and the ratio of this part to this part is the same as this part to this part. So let's go through a couple examples. So first of all, you can see that this little arrow represents the, these two uh, line segments are parallel. And we know that the ratio of nine to X, let's write that down, nine to X is the same as six to two. Okay, so that's our proportion. All we have to do to solve is we can cross multiply, cross the equal sign, right? Nine times two is 18. Six times X is six X. Divide everything by six, both sides, right? X equals three and you got it. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's look at example number two. Now this one is kind of using the triangle proportionality theorem in reverse, like the converse of the proportionality theorem. And it says, you know, is BC, this line segment, parallel to DE? We don't know because we don't see these arrows here to indicate that it's parallel. So let's go ahead and set up a proportion and see if, in fact, the ratio of five to one is the same as four to 0.8, right? Well, let's double check. So what we can do, you can either divide these and see if they're the same, or you can cross multiply again and see if these cross products are the same. So five times 0.8 is four, and four times one is four. So yes, indeed, uh, BC is parallel to DE, and we've shown that. So again, uh, review the formula if you need to, triangle proportionality theorem, it's pretty straightforward. The main thing is that this uh, segment is parallel to the base and you got it. So subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.